unanimous. A sigh of relief for the nearly 1,000 people living in the Rio Verde foothills community after being without water since the beginning of the year. Right now we're without a most of our water supply. We have less than 40 percent of the water available for all the homes. So right now I'm using rainwater to flush my toilet. Tonight, Scottsdale City Council members authorizing the city manager to execute a water agreement with Maricopa County. The agreement is contingent on the city getting additional water resources. If that happens, Scottsdale agrees to treat that water and make it available for delivery by Maricopa County to the Rio Verde foothills. I know even with this temporary solution, the cost of our water will go up. But knowing that the haulers can get to it and get it to us when we need it, will be huge peace of mind. If Scottsdale water resources are reduced for any reason, including drought, Rio Verde foothills will lose their access to water. Plus, there are concerns over pricing and stipulations limiting who gets access. Now I hope county, being that they're the ones, they're the reason we're here, okay? And the attorney general's opinion just shows that county does in fact have a responsibility in this. Maricopa County Supervisor Thomas Galvin also facing backlash after releasing this statement saying in part the county was not involved in drafting the terms of the proposed resolution and that the Board of Supervisors had not discussed the document drafted by the city of Scottsdale. There's another hurdle but I expect Mar Maricopa County and especially Supervisor Galvin to step up. County needs to come to the table and negotiate. And the county will be voting on this at a later date. If approved, water would be available to people living in the community as soon as there is a method to get that water supply to those living in the Rio Verde foothills area. Reporting live in Scottsdale tonight, Alexis Dominguez for Arizona's Family.